It's been one month since a Madison County woman was found shot to death on Thanksgiving Day. Her friend critically wounded during the crime in Farmersville, Illinois. Only on Five on Your Side, the survivor's family talks to our Robert Townsend. On the night before Thanksgiving, Christopher Smith and Leslie Reeves went on their first date at a bar in Farmersville, Illinois. I heard they were both excited to meet each other. They had been talking about a week and a half. And then they finally met up. Ashley Holcomb says within hours, she and her family learned her brother's fun time with his friend took a violent turn. I just screamed. I couldn't believe what my mom and daughter were telling me. Holcomb says a friend of Leslie Reeves called the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office and asked for a welfare check at Chris Smith's Farmersville home about 75 miles from St. Louis. Deputies went there and found the 45-year-old Reeves shot to death in the living room. A critically wounded 48-year-old Chris discovered in his kitchen. Smith's sister says both were shot in their heads. It's just unbelievable, the whole incident. One month later, Chris, a father of two, a contractor and singer, is still in a Springfield, Illinois hospital. His family says after he was shot, Chris suffered multiple strokes and is now paralyzed on the left side of his body. I want to be able to fix him and I can't fix him. Chris also opened his eyes last week for the first time, giving his family hope this Christmas. It's my Christmas present. <laughs> yes, that he's he's awake and he's fighting. Leslie Reeves was a mom and well-known business owner from Troy, Illinois. Her ex-boyfriend, Robert Tarr of Collinsville, is charged with first-degree murder and attempted murder. Police haven't said anything about a motive for the shootings. Today, Tar still before a Montgomery County, Illinois judge for his preliminary hearing. Now, the hearing was postponed until January 3rd. Meantime, Christopher Smith's family vows they will follow the case until the end. But I want justice for my son. I mean, he, he did not deserve this. Robert Townsend, five on your side. Chris will undergo another surgery on Monday. The suspect remains in jail on a $3 million bond. The director of the